Hello everybody, welcome to the show. I'm your host David Burrows and this is episode number 62. Well, hello once again, and as always, thank you for taking the time to stop on by here on the show. And as always, please remember, take the time to subscribe, and please share with five new friends on Facebook, or share the link, whatever you got to do, that'll help us get more awareness out there for the show, so we can keep bringing you bigger and better things. Also keep in mind, the show comes out every Wednesday, and I join Rob Jenkins at K106.3 about 11.30 every Wednesday to talk about what's happening for the week of the show. So be sure to tune in K106.3, or you can uh, see us online or listen online at k 106 fm Dot com. And, of course, the show now, also in partnership and featured at K106FM.com. All right, well, got out and did a lot of things this past week and weekend. And one of the bands in particular I'm going to share with you, I've been trying to catch up with them for quite some time, Border Light. Caught up with them down at First Friday down at the Imperial Theater. Border Light, a bit of a spinoff from a band called Borderline. They like to say the same great music but less filling. So uh, John Tierney and his band were down at the Imperial Theater for First Friday and playing, and we had some fun down there, and there were some dancers, and, well, we got some great footage and a special interview. So let's take you to that interview right now. This is Borderlight. Take a look at this, and then we'll be right back. All right, here on the show, and we're down at the Imperial Theater, First Friday happening down here, and uh, some former, I don't want to say former, but friends I haven't seen in a while, Borderlight, how are you guys doing? Good. Great, Dave. Thanks. And, and it's originally borderline, though, but tonight, yes. uh, borderline, borderline you like trio. to say, same music, less filling, is that yes, right? Uh, yeah, same great music, less filling. <laughs> so you're down here for First Friday, had a nice, fun crowd turnout here. Yeah. What, uh, how long has Borderlight and Borderline been playing around town? Borderline? You should know. You're, you're the longest. Well, Borderline's player. been in one form or another probably 25 years. Yeah. And Border Light's been... Oh, three, four what? years at We're most. going into yeah, year okay. four, I think, yeah. yeah. But you're not just like the bar scene or anything. You're doing like weddings and... and Do that, weddings, that sort of yeah. Thing. Campground, Functions, yeah. campgrounds. Campgrounds, dances. Right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a few bars, but they're but mostly the, matinee you're the lead stuff. guy, though, is that right, John? John Tierney, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, why don't you introduce Since the Since you put it so here. nicely. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I'm the lead guy. <laughs> and we have Pete Maharg, plays guitar lead right. and sings uh, the higher parts. And he's from Petrolia, and we have Ed Rowan, who's playing bass. He's also a guitar player, believe it or not. Right. But we talked him into playing bass with us, <laughs> yeah. and Ed sings as well. So uh, you know, we got the three-part harmony. And, and who's Ed's missing? from Wyoming, by the way. Yeah. Oh, all the way from Wyoming. Yeah, that's a bit yeah. of a trip in the winter time. Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. missing from Borderline? It's uh, Bruce Charlton. Bruce okay. on the drums, and Bruce will be joining us. We we do have a lot of more work coming with the full band, so this is yeah. just a breakaway opportunity to do some smaller venues, yeah, and, you know, okay. where people don't want the full band. So. Right. Okay. But you're for hire. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there a website? Yes, or phone uh, we have a. We're on the Sarnia Rocks, and uh, our email address right now is borderline 4 okay. at bell dot net. Awesome. And we have a website that my wife is uh, still working on, Facebook. and we hope to see the, uh, and we do have Facebook, yes, we're on, uh, Borderline Band is on uh, Facebook under my name, I guess, I'm okay. not sure how you Well, we'll put it. that all up on the screen here yeah. for you, for the viewers. Okay, great. Thanks so much, guys, really enjoyed it, and uh, there's some people in the background that were dancing here, everybody just shout out hello. Yay! So we're going we're gonna to have some of that footage here as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Once again, down here at the Imperial Theater for First Friday. Lots happening down here, but we're glad to make the trip to see our friends Borderlight. Thanks so much, guys. Thank All you, right. Dave. Keep Appreciate watching it. the show. We're going to have some more footage of what happened down here at uh, the Imperial Theater.
All right, welcome back once again on the show, and thank you, Border Light, for uh, taking some time to talk to us here. It was a lot of fun being down there and listening to you play, and there were some dancers down there at the Imperial Theater, and thank you, dancers, for allowing us to put your footage here on the show as well. If you'd like to get a hold of Border Light or Borderline to have them come to your party, should be an email address and a phone number on the screen. You can get a hold of them and make arrangements to have them at your next party. All right, got a special break here for you. There was a band uh, about a year ago we had on here from London, Ontario called Elias. And these guys have been working on an incredible album called 40 Days at Sea. And they're in the studio putting the final touches on, but they need your help. So if you'd like to support uh, indie music, take a look at this very special message. And right after that, a very special slideshow from Brownstones. Brownstones, of course, had their New Year's Eve party down at the new Brownstones Sports Bar and Lounge. And uh, here's some special photographs as well. So take a look at these two very special messages, and then we'll be back to show you more. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Elias uh, from London, Ontario. We play progressive rock or metal or whatever is your thing. Uh, this is Andrew. Hello. Kyle. Hey. Ivan. Hey. And I'm Dean. <clears throat> what we're doing right now is we're actually we're trying to fundraise our upcoming album. See. We've been working really hard and we've come up with this concept album. We call it 40 Days at Sea. We're really proud of it. The only thing is it's a little bit tough to fund. So this campaign is helping us fund everything. We've got all these different incentives and perks to help you guys out in the process to make it fun. For the different price points, we're offering different things like t-shirts, hoodies, USB sticks, exclusive content, and a lot more other things. We're updating it frequently on the Indiegogo page, so uh, check it out. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash EliasBand or on Twitter or at Elias.com. So until then, we'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully you see the internet and uh, take care. Peace. The Brownstones New Year's Eve Charity Gala in support of the St. Joseph's Hospice was uh, was quite a, a success. Uh, we had a very well attended uh, crowd who came out and enjoyed uh, you know food being served all night. Uh, of course, some good music. We had a nice jazz band, Johnny Bond and the Boys. We had a big uh, winter chalet out front on our patio where people could enjoy uh, you know a few drinks surrounded by some trees and uh, some fire pits. We had it was great. Uh, and then, of course, the big main attraction was our, our big 60-foot ball drop, which was facilitated by uh, Brandon Contractors. Uh, so we did everything from, uh, you know, the big countdown, uh, you know, tons of music and confetti and noisemakers. It was uh, all in all a big success. Um, so we are now uh, stating to the public we are the official ball drop capital of Sarnia. Just based on the sheer amount of people, I think our parking lot was pretty full uh, by the general public who all came out to watch the big drop. But uh, it was certainly, like I said, well attended and well celebrated. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely see you folks next year and uh, we're going even bigger. So it was a great time. All right, once again, there's Elias in there looking for your support to uh, help get their music completed so they can bring it to you. In fact, we're talking to Elias about coming to Sarnia when they get this all done. We're looking at doing that in a couple of months. But the sooner they get it done, the faster we can get them down here for you. These guys are awesome. If you haven't checked them out yet, go to their website, of course. It should be on your screen there. And, of course, check them out on YouTube. They do have some music on there for you to see as well. So thanks again, Elias, and all the best to you. We'll be in touch for sure. Also, thank you to Brownstones for sharing that uh, footage from their New Year's Eve party that they had down there. Uh, had a big crane out front uh, dropping the ball and going all out. Once again, check out Brownstones down at the corner of Finch and Wellington here at Sarnia. All right, well, uh, not everything's about music around here on this show. In fact, we want to keep mixing up all the independent things that are happening here. And my friend Kat Kabahar, the painted cat better known as, likes to do the face painting and uh, tattoos and all kinds of different things. And uh, she's doing quite well with her painted cat business. And we wanted to take the time to talk to her. And uh, we're going to show that to you right now. So we're going to go down to the home and home studio of the painted cat, Kat Kabahar. Take a look at this. All right, here we are once again on the show in a very special interview again. We're, uh, we're getting around town this time and not all just about music here on the show. This week we're talking to a local artist um, for painting, right? And uh, painting faces in particular, I guess, and uh, glitter tattoos and a whole bunch more. Joining us here on the show, Kat Kabahar. I said that right. You did, yes. Okay, <laughs> better known though as the painted cat. The painted cat, that's right. What's, uh, what's the painted cat? What's that all about? Well, basically the painted cat is um, a business that I started um, because I loved 
painting faces. Right. Okay. And uh, that has grown from painting faces to painting bodies, henna tattoos, special effects makeup. I do a little bit of party planning now. It wow. just all comes just with the territory. Just a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Right. And, and regular regular makeup too. It's kind of boring, but you yeah. know, I'll still do it. <laughs> now, how did the painted cat get started? You've got a bit of a story there. Yes. Uh, back in 2004, I was on the Art Walk Committee. Oh, great. Okay. Um, it was a skills link program put together. And uh, I was head of public relations so my job was to get the word out about right. art walk you know and let everybody know what was happening um, the actual weekend of the festival I didn't have anything to do because my job had already been done right. and the children's activities uh, team decided that they wanted to do face painting oh, okay. okay to keep the kids happy sure and so um, I volunteered I thought it would be fun yeah I've always been an artist I love art you know I love dressing up so why not yeah uh, so I went out with my little tool belt with my you know paint and my brushes and yeah. everything and the plan was to just paint you know if you see if you see a child on the street ask their, their parents if it's okay if they get their face painted right. paint and walk you know like a mobile face sure. painting um, I started painting one child and then another came and another and it's another. It's very, very popular. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's the first thing that kids look for when they come to any kind of event. Where's the face painting? Yes. Um, and next thing you know, I had a lineup around the corner. Um, they grabbed me a TV tray and yeah. uh, two chairs and I was face painting all weekend. Right. So, and then a little light went on and said, hmm. Maybe we could do something with this. Absolutely. I think that's great. I, yeah. I like getting face painted too. I mean, even as adults, oh, yeah. the adults like getting that done as well. Um, so I'll be traveling to North Carolina oh, awesome. in the spring. So that's exciting. Okay. Um, I'm going to be uh, training with some of the best. Okay. And then there'll be a competition at the end of that. I'm really going to focus on North America this year, and then next year we'll look at Europe, and then after that Australia. Big so. plans for the painted cat. That's right. I'm, I'm painting the world one face at a time. Good so. for you. Well, congratulations on Thank that. You. And uh, painted cat, stay in touch with us because I know you're, you're going to be uh, around the community. Uh, we'll probably see you through the summer. Cat, yeah. thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks yes, so much. here in the home studio of uh, the painted cat and. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break right now. When we come back, we're going to show you some of the face painting that the Painted Cat does. So keep watching. Great classics. The best new rock. K106.3. Well, there you have the painted cat, Cat Cabahar. Thanks so much for inviting us into your home and your home studio there. We had a lot of fun there. Uh, the kids, my, my daughter Julie and my son Jason, had fun getting painted up and everything. And she's got a couple of cats running around there. One's like really, really big. So the cat, painted cat. Anyway, if you'd like to find out more about the painted cat, visit her website online at thepaintedcat.ca and you can find out how you can have her to your next special event or party. And uh, even if it's just check her out to find out what more she's got coming up here in the future. So thank you once again, Cat Cabahar, the painted cat. All right, going to take a real quick break, and when we come back, uh, time to wrap up the show. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store. Cheeky Monkey, movies and more. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store in town. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store in town. 
All right, welcome back once again. And as always, special thank you to Cheeky Monkey for sponsoring the show here and sponsoring uh, all kinds of local talent here and supporting the local indie scene, if you will, here in Sarnia. So Cheeky Monkey, Marion and Roland, thank you so much for that. Be sure to check out their website, CheekyMonkeySarnia.ca, for special events and special promotions that they have. Or, hey, even go one better. Stop down at their store, Cheeky Monkey, at the corner of Cromwell and Christina here in downtown Sarnia. Once again, Marion and Roland, thank you so much for all that you do. All right, well, some very special events coming up. Led Zeppelin fans, you're not going to want to miss this. January the 26th, down at the Stubborn Mule, it's the return of the Songs Remain the Same, a tribute to Led Zeppelin. They were here last year raising the roof down at the Stubborn Mule, and they are back to do it once again. And this time, special guest Retrospect will be there opening up for the Led Zeppelin tribute. And Retrospect was on the show uh, recently, and these guys are playing Kansas, Boston, Rush, Triumph, uh, Toto, you name it. These guys are also incredible, phenomenal. So two great acts going to be happening down at the Stubborn Mule. January the 26th, a tribute to Led Zeppelin with special guest Retrospect. Tickets are only $5 for this vet. We're going to be down there with the show camera to bring you some special footage. So don't miss it. Once again, January the 26th, Led Zeppelin tribute down at the Stubborn Mule. All right, well, a very special event. Really excited about this as well. It's the return also of the Rock and Country Collide Tour. Third Wave and Whiskey Rain make their return to the Stubborn Mule on February the 9th. This time to raise money for a very special young lady and a very special family struggling right now. Uh, Kayla Mavretic has cystic fibrosis and she's in the process of waiting for a transplant. And uh, the Rock and Country Collide came back out to say we're going to help raise some money for this young lady and her family. So that's happening down at the Stubborn Mule as well on February the 9th. Tickets only $10, available down at Krabby Joe's and Kokomo's. So get your tickets early. This is going to be a whole lot of fun and, of course, for a great cause. All right, well, not a happy new year all the way around here in Sarnia. Of course, many uh, sad events happening, uh, and one in particular, Noel Paquette. I'm not going to say a whole lot about this. There's already been a lot of press and a lot of different things. I'm just going to say this. It is tragic, and we've all uh, been saddened in our own way, and maybe you're feeling angry. But out of all of this, there is something positive that is happening. Now, Noelle Paquette was a teacher, 27-year-old kindergarten teacher, and she was very passionate about what she did. The family's put together a very special website that you can go to, find out more about Noelle and her passion, and donate to her passion which was teaching and children. And you can donate and the monies raised will go towards making sure kids have healthy food in school, school supplies, uh, coats, things that kids need to get through school to be healthy, to learn healthy, and uh, hopefully have a good life. We're sorry for the loss of Noelle Paquette and our prayers do go out to her family. I'm gonna flash up on the screen this very special website and I hope you'll take the time to visit and at least read about it and then you decide for yourself what you wanna do. That's all the time we got for you this week on the show. We will be back next week with more and very exciting things. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great week and an even better weekend. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now.